Hello, Namaskar, good evening. Welcome to NCRT's live interactive session. This is Simran Singh. And you are all watching us on PME Vidya, channel number 6 to 12. You can also connect with us to our YouTube channel that you all know it's NCERT official. So viewers, it's around 4 p.m. on your watch and from 4 p.m. till 5 p.m. we come up with our regular webinar sessions. So a very warm welcome to all our viewers in this webinar series of ET and ICT tools. Today we are going to discuss about a gaming platform that is Bluekit, learning through games. Now this seems to be very interesting. So let me introduce all of you to the presenter of our today's session. In the conversation we have with us Mrs. Rekha Chaudhary. Namaskar ma'am, good evening. Namaskar ma'am, a very good evening to one and all. A very warm welcome in the session. Ma'am is TGT Science, currently serving at Kendriya Vidyalaya Vikas Puri has joined in from New Delhi. Viewers throughout our live interaction if you have any of the queries. So feel free to reach out to us in the comment section of NCRE official. Besides, here is our contact number flashing on your screen. Kindly note down this number. That is 8800-440-559. Apart from this, if you have any of the queries and any of your questions remain unanswered, then here is our mail ID flashing on your screens. It is training.helpdesk at the rate cr80.nic.in. So, we will be waiting for your questions and we will try to take all your questions in another one hour. So, Rekha ma'am, let's begin this session and it seems to be very fascinating. What is Blue Kit and Thank how you. we are going to study more through this gaming platform? Over to you. Thank you so much ma'am. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, CIT and CRT for giving me this opportunity to present this wonderful ICT tool at this platform. Blue Kit is really very interesting gaming platform as we all know that how important games are in our learning as we know that gamification is learning is an important part for our national education policy as well as in our uh, digital education. So we are going to see this new platform Bluegate through which we can learn or we can teach with the games. So there is no need of uh, or such type of games which are wasting us so much time and all these things. So let's start with our presentation first and then I'll show my demo part also. Sure. Okay, so we can see here there are uh, the blooks are there. I'll let you know what blooks are actually. So Bluekit is an exciting new take on the modern classroom review game. It actually aims to match action with education and to create the ultimate learning experience. It is a web-based quiz game platform for group competition or for solo study as well. Choice and pending group of the game show platforms for the classroom, is it offline or online, doesn't matter, it will help you in your digital education. What sets it apart from all the other platforms that it can be rethemed using a variety of game modes. So many game modes are there in the blue kit which we can use for our education as well as for our learning. It offers unique visual themes and gameplay types turning quizzes into competitive experiences. So we can use, uh, use our any device, we, our students can use any device to have it, look it on for learning. So let me tell you what is the meaning of a blue. It is a friendly little block. Here you can see some blocks in my presentation that loves to play. It represents a player and there are so many blues that are waiting to be unlocked and students can unlock them only and only when they earn some points or points by gaming or by playing some games hosted by the teacher. So we have a, a teacher will provide a gaming platform, a code and when a student plays that it will earn some points and we can, uh, the student can unlock all the blues. So it's like this. Now my main question is how it works. So whether you can create, you have to choose a question set first for which you want to do learning of the students. You can use it for revision, for recapitulation, for summarization, for introducing a concept in a class as a teacher. So you can use it like this. So first of all, we have to choose a question set. You can import as a teacher, you can import any question set with the converter tools. We have some converter tools in the blue kit or we can find one in the discover database. 
already blue kit platform has many uh, question sets which are already prepared by them and we can use them as it is for our own class the next step is to select a game mode as i told you earlier many type many modes are there for gaming in the blue kit so there is a variety of unique game modes we can choose from them so that we can ensure the engagement of our students also we can make sure to keep an eye open for limited time seasonal and event modes the next step is host and join a teacher simply host a game on a large screen in front of the class and let the students join in we can share the link with our students and a simple joining code then and they can join in our class with this gaming platform they can compete on their own devices with the game id provided by the teacher next step is how uh, play to review throughout the game session students will also have a great time they will answer the questions they will review the questions and the content being taught in the class after the answers we can as a teacher analyze the results with detailed score reports and question analysis teachers can easily understand how their students are performing and identify areas that they need that they need to review again so for this as a teacher i have to log in i can log in with my google id or i can use any email id or username with my password if i am a first time user i have to sign up first so i can sign up with my username but with my existing email id or any platform or password with confirm password you have to accept that that you are at least 13 years old or and you have to agree the privacy policy in terms of services for signing up and after that you can log in here you can see the dashboard of a teacher we have to use the dashboard to create the question sets and host games or to play games and manage blues so many uh, tabs are there i will i will explain all the tabs in the my demo part to host a game we have to select a card set and then choose a game mode some game modes works best when we are working with groups and others are for solo play only here you can see some of the game modes like a gold quest cafe factory battle royale racing tower of doom and classic let me explain some of the game modes in the battle this is the screenshot of battle royale mode in this type of mode or game students are randomly paired with the classmates suppose 10 students are there in your class who are taking participation in this game so they will be paired in the random order and the fastest correct response stays alive to fight another battle so in this way the royal battle or the battle royal mode will work here you can see tower of doom mode so hosted games have a variety of settings to customize the game in this you can see the maximum time race after how many questions if you want to do the question order randomly and you can select the number of questions you can compete solo you can compete in teams randomly flex and with speed okay so after a game teacher can see the number of correct answers for each student and how the class did on each question this is the stream of a teacher during live game play game play students can also display the question answer and the basic feedback here is the question which we can see on a student dashboard and you can see a, a number of responses as well with the question and the number of answers here you can see the public sets to find the question set suppose i want to have a question set on spanish so there you can see so many blue kits are also available i can choose any one of them and i can assign them in my classroom 
as I told you earlier, players who are, who are your students, which are your students, they have to earn the points for the coins that they can spend to buy and sell the blues. Some blues are already available to them freely, but they have to unlock some other blue with the earning of some coins or points. So, this is the presentation part. Now, let me show you the demo part. Now, I'm going to start with the Google browser. I'm going to type here blue cake. You can type the blue cake in the search engine. Not only the Google, you can use any search engine to find this platform. When I type the blue cake in the search engine, you can see that the first result that appears to me is the blue cake. www.bluecake.com Here you can see that is an exciting new take on the modern classroom review key. So I am going to click on this now. This is the main home page of the blue cake. Here you can see two options. Join a game, login and sign up. I told you earlier also, if I, if you are a new user, if you are using this platform first time, you have to sign up first and after that you can directly log in. Here you can see some level up classroom engagement, reimagining learning, some of the advantages of Look It Art that it helps to motivate the students in this art uh, by using this platform. Students are encouraged to participate in games with rewards for answering the questions and exploring new methods of learning, overcoming the challenges that drives the students to perform well while reviewing. It will help us to teach effortlessly. Question sets can be painlessly imported. As I, as I told you earlier, we can import the question back also or we can create it easily with their powerful set builder. We can also explore incredible collection of sets by uh, set by uh, or built by the amazing users on the Discover page, and we can customize them freely. So let me show you the sign up option now. So this is the main sign up. Here you can see I can sign up with my existing Google account or with some email ID. Or here we have login. So I can log in with my existing Google account or some username and password. So right now I am going to edit my loop login with my Google account. Here I am having an account. Okay. So let me sign up first because I am using this for the first time. going to type my name here. Sign up. So you have to get, uh, okay, let me make it like this. Now, again, this username is already taken. Okay. So let me change my username for this. Okay. Here you can see, first the question that appears on the main dashboard for a person is who are you? Are you a teacher who is going to host some games or you are a student that is going to play some games? So right now I am going to click on the teacher icon. So saving option is there. So welcome tour is there. Welcome to the world of the blue gate. We are so excited that we are here. Thanks for joining the vibrant and diverse community. And I'm going to click it on the next one. So built for the classrooms to play the blue cake, a teacher hosts a question set with the unique game mode on their screen or projector or the students join in to compete on their own devices. So here you can see it is designed for the teachers. Teachers can create their own question set as I told you earlier also and they can discover new ones with the search feature. It also includes detailed game history reports to see how students perform. And focused on the students, with the count of students, students can create their statistics, create their question sets, buy and sell blogs and participate in upcoming community-wide events. So, 
we are free are free for this and some social media platforms are there for the sharing of this platform okay so this is the my dashboard where you can see some latest news regarding blue kit for this tab i'm going to click on this and you can see all the updates regarding blue kit will appear here okay let me close this now i'm going to click on my sets here you can see there is no available set here so i need to have a question set to post let me start with discovering of sets which are which are already prepared by some other users here you can see also started tutorial if you want to see some videos or if you have some questions in your mind you can also see the tutorial from this one so i'm going to discover sets and let me search for a set here okay i'm going to search a set for a topic photosynthesis i type the name of photosynthesis and here you can see so many prepared sets are available which i can use in my classroom so let me see one of them this one is having 15th question it was edited 8 months ago and till now 129000 times it, it is going to be played okay here you can see this one so these are the questions which are available in this here you can see the answers the time limit set by the builder vendor quiz answer order so with this icons you can check the answers and here you can see one of the option which is uh, appear uh, in the right part this one is the right answer set by the author okay here you can see the oxygen is the right answer and the other options are stomata carbon dioxide and protein so if i want to post this for my own class this was created by some other user but the same game i want to make it available for my own students what will i have to do then you can see a post icon and the solo icon i am going to click on the post tab and it will take me another window where i have to choose a game mode here you can see all the modes trip to have fishing frenzy tower defense all of them have some different rules let me show you one of them gold quest here you can see exciting twist and chest full of gold in which the students will uh, be tested on the speed as well as on luck the player limit is 60 let me tell you very uh, openly in this platform that it, it is a free version we are using and the limit is only 60 players at a time for a set for a single set so the limit on the players the number of players that can play a, a game created or hosted by you is 60 however there is no limit on the number of sets created or hosted by you but there is a limit on the number of students that are going to be play they that going to be a uh, join your game that's, that is 60 players so now i'm going to post this game okay here you can see some settings time the game ends after the step time has passed and this one is the gold icon the game ends after a player reaches the set gold amount so it's up to you what do you want to have your in game is it time based or it's it is some level based or here you can see so instruction so want to show the some instructions to your students for this game allow the late joining by your students use the random names or allow the accounts of the students so let me make it on the time based game and post now uh, i can increase or decrease the time limit let me make it 15 minutes and host now after this you can hear the music as well and it will show me that go to the bluekid.com play and enter the game id and you can see a game id 380798 i can copy this link and i can share it with my students so let me first of all 
of the music and you, and you can uh, make it on the first screen. So in this way, you have to just type the name of the topic in the discover sets. You will find a set from so many sets, uh, so many sets are available, a variety of sets are available by the different users. You have to type the name of the topic you want to, uh, to have a game on that and you have to choose the mode. Then you have to uh, make some settings and then you can host the game. So you have to give this uh, link to your student and this game ID and whenever a student will join, it will show the performance in this portion. So I request some of our, some of our viewers who are uh, watching this session live, kindly join the brookit.com slash play with the game ID 380798 so that I can show how it appears to a teacher when the student is playing the game. Let me go back. Okay. So here you can see some uh, more options. There is an option of a solo. If you don't want to host a game, if you want to play this game as a solo member, you can also do that. If you want to have a preview, then what will appear to your students. So you can, you can play this game as a solo member also. Let me show you how it is. So I am going to click on the solo. And here you can see the play the solo. For this I have to select a game mode again. And then I can play this game as a solo. So let me show you. This one is the solo game. So this one is the amputee. Oh. And the first question will appear to me. Absorbs light energy. So which one absorbs the light energy? So I can choose any one of them. Let me choose chlorophyll. Then you can see the correct answer. Click anywhere to go next. So in this way, a teacher can preview this with the solo icon, with the solo tab. By choosing the solo tab, a teacher can preview how this game will appear to your students. Here you can see some icons is there. When I am going to on the next level, it will increase my coins and I can use them to unlock some blues. So I am going to make it like this. And here you can see all the uh, other blues or all the other players who are using this. So let me go back now. Next option is favorite. If you want to make this in your favorite list, you can have a click on this. Here you can see some report issue and duplicate. You can also make a duplicate copy for your other class. Now I am going back on my main dashboard. Okay. Next one is, this. so I have showed you right now how to discover already prepared sets. Now I am going to show you how you can create your own set of questions using Blueprint tools. I am going to click on this. Now here you can see, create a question set. If you want to have a cover image, you can also download the image for your game from the gallery. You can upload a file or you can upload by URL. So you can use or drag or drop an image for a you know, for cover image for your game. Title. So let me make a game for my students. Journal knowledge. And put it on this. Okay. So, there you can tell users about your question sets. Next one is the privacy setting. Just decide who can find and play your question set. You can make it public or you can make it private. Only playable by you or playable by everyone. Creation method. Here you can see three methods are available for you. Manual. From this, you can start from scratch, from a blank page. Quizlet import. In the, one of the ICT tool webinar, we have learned our ICT tool Quizlet. We can import already prepared set from the Quizlet here. And here you can see a spreadsheet import. They will show, give you, they, you can download a spreadsheet, a CSV sheet in your system. You can fill that and you can import that in uh, from your system to this platform. I will show all the three methods. First of all, let me start with manual. Start from scratch. Create your set. Okay. 
Here you can see there is no image as such. Topic is there. It is publicly available. Save set. Edit input. Time limit. Let me add question first. For the question, if you want to add questions, you can set a time limit for each and every question. If you want to make the order of this question randomly, you can also do that and check answers will be given in a random order. So you can make it like this or this. Okay. Then you can see, you can type the text of the question. So I'm going to type it for a small scale. 2 plus 2 is equal to. Okay. I can also add any image for better understanding of the question for my students. Here you can see when I click, I am going to click on the image icon, image gallery, upload a file and upload by URL. A math editor is also there for math teachers. If you want to have some all these formulas in your questions, you can use them. And audio is also there. So answer 1 is 4. Let me take answer 2, 1 and 5. Okay. I know that you have to, uh, I know that answer, uh, correct answer is 4. So if you want to make an answer key available for your students so that you should, uh, there will be no need to of manual checking. You can also do that. For auto scoring key, you have to click on this square like, like this. So now your answer key is set for your question. Save. Here you can see one of my question is there having a time limit of 20 seconds. I can edit it again. I can delete this and if I want to copy the same question I can do that also. Let me add one more question. Answer 2. And now I am going to make it only 2 options. And I am going to add an image with my question. I am going to do this. I am going to upload a file from my system. Okay. Let me choose some pictures. If it is there. Oh, this one is. So this image will appear with my question now and I am going to save it. Okay. So when I am going to save it without setting the answer key, here you can see which answer is correct. So I know that this one is correct and now I am going to save this. Okay. Here you can see the image uploaded by me with my question, show answers. 20 seconds time limit, random answer order. I am going to increase the time limit here. Let's make it 40 seconds. Okay. So now here you can see, you can edit the settings or you can edit the questions at any point of time. Okay. Now, here you can see two questions are there. I am going to save this set. And now this set will appear in my sets. I can host it, I can play it solo, here you can see you can edit the set created by you, you can delete it and some setting option is there. For setting option, three options will appear, copy, merge and link. If you want to make a copy of the same set, you can do that, merge, if you, if you want to merge the set with already available sets, you can also do that. And if you want to share the link of this set with your colleagues so that the same set can be used by your colleague teacher, you can also do that with the link option. Okay. Now I'm going to host it. For the hosting, first of all, you have to choose a mode. Let me make it a racing mode. Here you can see answer the questions to raise the opponents and use power up to get the finish line first. So it will be tested on speed and accuracy. The same player limit 60 and now I am going to host this game. 
again some settings will appear the same settings will appear if you want to make it like this and now post now so in this way you can create your own set of questions and you from a scratch and you can host the game for your students i'm going back and my sets okay here you can see now new folder you can also arrange all the blue cats created by you in the folders now now i'm going to show you homework one you have not assigned any homeworks yet if i want to assign a game to my students as a homework then how it will i will do this learn how to assign homework and you can see some of the quick answers how do i host a game how do i share a question set i have created with another teacher so you will get the answer okay now i am going to discover it again this is my main home set page let me delete this i am going to create a set with the quizlet import as i told you the quizlet is one of the ict tool where we have some sets are uh, already prepared by the other users having many questions of different types of questions so i can import the set from the quizlet so there is no need to uh, make a new set by myself at this platform i can import from quizlet also so i'm going to choose this and now going to create my set with the title only the date of today create your set okay here you can see some steps for using the quizlet in this platform step number 1 is any of the quiz find a set any of the quizlet sets can quickly be converted into blue into a blue kit set i can go back and edit it to make it my own once i find a set i have to hit the next button below and for the best result use the quizlet sets that list the answer first and the question second so let me search a quizlet first it will take me to another window of quizlet here you can see the window of quizlet and i can find study sets class users so let me type my topic here so study sets so here you can see many study sets are available i can use them for my blue kit set so let's see the next part follow the steps below to export a set from the quizlet you have to hit the next button after copying the set we have to click on the three dots button if i want to export any set of quizlet into the blue kit and then there in the three dots if you will find an option of export In the drop down menu you have to click on the export icon copy the text leave the tab and you have to paste the text into the text below here and then add the questions when you do it, uh, do this it will simply import the set from the quizlet to your own lookit id so there is no need to make it or to start it from the scratch If you have any set of questions in your Quizlet account, you can import them quickly and easily on the BlueCat platform. So this will help us a lot who are using Quizlet or who are uh, having some question sets in the Quizlet account. The third option we will have here is spreadsheet import. You can see. Let me create set now. I have to download the template first. let me download the template okay here you can see the template downloaded by me okay so some options are there question text so what is 2 plus 2 i can change the question answer 1 answer 2 answer 3 4 time limit in seconds and you have to Uh, write the correct answers here so you have to fill this spreadsheet and then import this spreadsheet into the account let me make it okay name the capital of india 
Next question will be identify a flower. Okay. Let me have some answers. New Delhi. Answer two will be Mumbai. Kolkata. Which one? Okay. Time limit, make it like 100 seconds. Here you can see maximum 3 seconds can be given to a single question. And correct answer is Mumbai. Oh, sorry. New Delhi. Next question, identity flower, rose. Okay. Potato. Tomato. Okay, let me make the time seconds 100 again and this time rose is the right answer. So, I'm going to save this. Just close this now and upload CSV. I'm going to download now and uh, let me see where it was. was look it not but here for me okay let me find out first it's it is going to be downloaded it is going to be uh, desktop okay upload csv from the desktop i'm going to have it files one is look at spreadsheet import here i am having this so csv scenario deny check size okay it should not be more than 2.5 mb so let me make it this one is my spreadsheet so you can just delete the unnecessary part Only include answer one. Not wrong one and one. So let me check the size first. You can see it's KB. So I'm going to make it. Okay. Now you can import the spreadsheet from here with the click to create your cell. So in this way you can have your CSV import, you can import the Quizlet and you can start from the scratch. Let me show you some more important features of the BlueKit. Yes ma'am, as you are discussing about some of the important and minute details of BlueKit, I need to inform all our viewers that we still have around 15 minutes in this session. So in case if you have any of the queries, any questions ma'am would be loving to answer all your questions. So reach out to us in the comments section of NCERT official. Ma'am, you may continue. Thank you so much, ma'am. So here you can see some my sets. I'm going to create a set. Uh, I, I'm going to first discover a set again for man's edition card to show you some more features or some game important game modes. Edition for class five. You can see. Uh, 48 questions, 8 questions, only 2 questions are there. Let me show this one. So, you can have this one. Post. Okay. For hosting any game mode on the blue kit, you have to choose the mode of the game. Select a game mode. So, you can see 12 game modes are available to you. All of them are having some different features. You can check them out. You can have your own needs. Let me show you some of the modes like cafe modes. Then it's time for some delicious food. It's like a game for your kids. So kids will play them. Your students will play them. In this way, uh, gamification will, uh, in learning will be done. And it will uh, motivate students to learn through games. 
they will play a game they will recapitulate the concept taught by you in your class and in this way games can be inculcated in your learning or we can say that learning can be done with your games so it's all up to your choose or uh, uh, your choice which gaming mode is you are going to choose for uh, your students it depends on the need of the students as well as on the age level of the students if you are uh, teaching uh, students of class 6 or 7 or some senior students you can have just a classic mode where you can complete the answer questions quickly to one point so so no stop kids like teams will appear so it will simple a game show like kvc or some other gaming quiz platforms so it's a classic mode you can host this game now i'm show you uh, i going to show you classic mode now host now so let me host it uh, let me play this solo so that i can show you how i can play this okay so classic mode is not available to play solo okay we will going we are going to host it again okay i am going to explain in the last uh, part of my session all the features available here all the tabs available here if you want to play some games you can have to click as a student or as a single user you can have some game id like uh, as i told you earlier uh, this one three eight zero seven nine eight. If I want to eight zero seven nine eight and go. So it is showing that as I uh, uh, deleted this game, so they could not find the game with that ID. Let me make the game first again. Okay, I'm going to going back my dashboard. The next option, discover. I explain this feature. The next portion is for dashboard. The next one is to create. For as I told you, there is no limit on the number of sets you can create, number of games you can create, number of discoverers, uh, sets discovered. Uh, you can use unlimited sets or games created by other teachers or other users of the bucket. Next part is for statistics. If you want to see the statistics part as a player, here you can see this one is joined. I have joined 29 minutes ago. I can unblock the blocks. I can manage the blocks. Here you can see I have not found any single point as because I am a new user right now for this platform. So as soon as I start playing games on the blue kit. I I will earn some points and I will uh, be able to buy or sell the blues. Unblock the blues. Let me show you how to unblock the blues or some market. And you can see, as a free user, I am getting 25 points or points. So I can unblock the blues. Let me unblock this one for 20 tokens. so this will be a challenge for a student for a kid for your children to earn more and more coins or points so that they can unblock all the blocks available on this platform so this one is a new block here you can see now i have uh, i left with five coins only and now i am not having enough tokens so i have to play more and more games given or posted by my teacher so that i can earn more points to unlock all the blocks here and you can see blocks which are available and some of them are available and some of them are still have to have to be unlocked by you you can see this one this one are available for you and these all should be unlocked by the user Okay, now I'm going to make it a uh, for example homework. Learn how to assign homework. Here you can see how to assign a question set as a homework for students so that they can do on their own. Then for this, for assigning a question set as a homework, you have to choose a question set or you have to create a question set. Then you have to select the power of more. 
the power from Tower of Doom, Factory, Crazy Kingdom, Tower of Defense, or Cafe Moon. Because only these modes currently have homework option, and then we have to assign it as a homework. Let me make it a homework now. I'm going to my sets, create a set. Okay, we will uh, do discover sets. Uh, nutrition will be the topic. Okay, let me choose this set. Now, I'm going to post this. I am going to choose it now tower of defense so that I can assign the same set as a homework. Here you can see when I click on the tower of defense, I am getting two options, homework or host. If you are taking a live class, online class and students are with you available right now, you can host them in your live class or if you want it to assign this game or this learning set as a homework, you can also do that with the homework icon. Without assigning the homework, you can see some settings first. Assigning homework allows the students to complete a game on their own time. Then a game ID will be given to them that is valid for the time specified below. And you can change the time also. When the students use this game ID, they will be able to play the game and answer the question. And they, then we will as a teacher get live updates on their progress and performance. And you can see the due date. I can also change this time and the day. Let me make it for three days or two or five hours. Okay. So you can change the homework title and some settings with the round goal 20. Make it. 20 and allow the student's account. What does it mean? That it disable this option. Well, if I disable this option, it will hide the account creation options from the students. And the blue kit is, uh, blue kit is recommending, uh, recommending us that make it enable so that students can also make their accounts on this. Let me assign now. And now, you can see a link will appear as a homework and homework will close at on the given time, the day and I am going to share this with my students so that they can play their own uh, play with their own time. If they are not available right now on online, they can play it whenever they are free, uh, freely available for this. So, in this way, we can assign homework in our online classes as well as for offline classes. Suppose I am teaching a class which are physically available to me, but I want to make uh, digital learning more powerful as a useful tool for them. So I can assign homework online to them in this way. They will play a game as well. They, come, they will compete with their own students, partners or with their own payoff in the payoff. And in this way, games will help us for the learning of our students. Let me go uh, show you some history option. As I have not posted any game yet, so the history will be blank here. Favorite option will be blank here. Okay, some settings icon is also there. I'm going to, um, uh, I'm using the starter plan of the blue kit. I can upgrade it for this. I have to pay some money, but I'm very happy with the options freely available in this plan. Here you can see some my user ID, email, my role. When I join this, I want to, if I want to edit some information regarding this, I can also do that. If I want to switch to a student account, I can also do that. If I want to delete my account from here, I can do it with this tab. Some social media platforms are there also for their support, price policy. So setting option will give us all this. And last option will here is for a logout option. So we can log out after our all work is completed. So this is all about his blue cake. If there is any question, ma'am, can we let me know? Yeah, sure. And with that, I think we have covered all the important details associated with this gaming platform that is deemed as Blue Kate. And ma'am, we also have one question from our viewer, Ms. Suhasini. She has asked us how to view our own project in this gaming uh, platform that is Blue Kate. Okay, so 
uh, when a teacher hosted a game for a student, it will uh, appear in the my sex option. And if uh, a teacher wants to see the statistics part of the student uh, answers given by the students, then it will be appear in the history option. Here you can see it is written that you have not hosted any games yet. But as a teacher, when I started hosting any game on this platform, and when my students will answer all the questions, all the history, all the answers, question-wise analysis, all the data will uh, data part will appear here in the block. And ma'am, is it easy to use? Like, could anyone use it, ranging from children to adults to teenagers? Yes, ma'am. Uh, as I told you earlier, the first question that appears when you sign up first time that if you are a teacher or a student, if you are 13 years old enough, then you can use it as a teacher. And if you are using as a student, then you can use it just uh, go to the bluekid.com slash play and join, uh, enter the ID, joining ID given by your teacher. So there is no need to download any software. There is no need to uh, upload anything in your device or download some any app just go to the given link uh, to the uh, to the link provided by your teacher or uh, enter the id given by your teacher and it will easily open Thank you so much ma'am for explaining us at length about BlueKid this gaming platform that is huge for the process of learning thank you Thank you so much ma'am at the end i would like to thank all the viewers uh, I would like to thank my Vidyale and my Sangathan for allowing me for the presentation. Thank you so much, ma'am. Be it question sets or your homework sets, I think with this vision, now our viewers would be quite clear how to use BlueKate and how to provide this teaching process with the help of BlueKate to all their students. Thank you, ma'am, once again. Thank you to all the viewers who have connected with NCRA for this particular session of webinar on ET and ICT tools. Stay connected. Our upcoming session is Sahyog where we will be discussing about life skill education, the way to enhance values in students. Stay connected. We'll be right back within few minutes. Namaskar.